we continue adding integers, positive and negatives using various strategies. The strategy we introduced today is a number line, a simple number line. So adding a positive integer, when you add positive integer, you move to the right, right? Because positive integers, you move forward. In fact, I would say not just forward, you move to the right, right? <laughs> to the right. So for example, negative one, we start at negative one and we move to the right three step, three steps landing on positive two. So from number five, from negative five plus seven, we start at negative five and we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we land it on two. From negative 14, we move to the right, two steps, right? To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Every time we add, we move farther to the right, in the right direction on a number line. So from negative 14, we go one, two, three, four, and we land on negative 10. From negative six, right? We start right here from negative six. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we land on positive two. From negative eight, we step three steps to the right, right? Three steps, one step, two step, three, and we land on negative five. So when we add a number, a positive number, we move farther to the right, which is very true for positives, right? Two plus three, we move farther to the right, land on five. Now, when we're adding a negative number, when we're adding a negative number, adding a negative number, adding a negative number, adding a negative number, again, again, that means you move backward, right? You move backward, or I would say not necessarily backward, but to the left, right? To the left on a number line, farther to the left. For example, negative one plus negative three. We start at negative one and we go one, two, three we end up farther to the left at negative four. If we start at negative six and we move to the left, right? We move to the left, to the left because we're adding negative integer, right? We move two steps, one, two. We land even farther on negative eight. Three plus negative four, so this is our three. We make one, two, three, four steps to the left. We land it on negative one. From negative four, this is a start. We land, we step five in the left direction. Notice this minus sign indicates move to the left. So we go one, two, three, four, five, and we land on negative nine. And from 13, if we start on 13 and we move eight steps to the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we land on, of course, five which is the same as 13 minus 8 equals to 5. Notice this similarity. Now, let's add some positives and add some negatives so we can get used to uh, in our understanding when we're adding a positive number, we're moving farther to the right. When we're adding a negative number, we're moving farther to the left. So, in fact, I would like to go ahead and highlight adding a negative integer adding a negative integer, adding a negative integer, right? So what happens when we add a negative integer? We move to the left. We move further to the left. We move in the left direction. So let's begin. If we start on eight, and let's pretend this is our starting point, right? Eight, and we move one, two, three, right? Minus three, we land on five. We land on five. This is the same mathematically as eight minus three equals five. Five. Now I'm down to example 12. If we start at negative six, let's say this is negative six. Where do we walk four steps? We walk to the left. One, two, three, four, minus four. Negative six plus another four steps to the left lands us at negative 10. If we start at 11, if we start at 11, let's pretend this is our 11, and we move nine steps to the left, right? This is to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, and nine steps to the left will land us on two. Notice how mathematically it's the same as eleven minus two equals sorry, eleven minus nine equals two. Now let's consider different examples. Let's consider the rest of this. Now, what happens when we add a positive number, add a positive number, and add a positive number? It means we move to the right, 
farther to the right on the number line. We move in the right direction on the number line. So if we start at negative 5, right, this is our starting point, and we add 6 steps to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Where do we land? We land on 1. Remember, from negative 5, another 5 gives us 0, and 1 extra gives us 1. Now, from negative 18 plus 5, let's pretend this is negative 18, right? Now, our starting, starting point is negative 18 in the number line, and we move again 5 steps to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We end up, we land on negative 13, right? Notice, every time we add we move to the right. Every time we add a negative number, a negation, it's as if we're subtracting and we're moving to the left. Now, negative 1, so let's make negative 1 right here. This is our starting point, and we move 7 steps in the right direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Negative 1 plus another 1 will give us 0, and another 6 will give us 6. So we land on 6. Now, our job is to translate. We're going to translate in the opposite direction. So again, I'm going to take the liberty and solve only the odd ones, 15 and 17, because I think the examples are making more sense. So how do we translate these pictures? Write an expression to translate the picture. We start at negative 4, and we move to the right. Minus 4 plus how many steps? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Plus 5 lands us on positive 1. Now, number 17. We start at negative 11. Negative 11. And how far do we move? We add negative 1. Step to the left, landing us on negative 12. Now, let's practice without finding the actual sum. Again, it's a very helpful exercise. Do not compute. Just determine whether we're going to have a positive or a negative integer thinking of a number line. So, Again, just like in the previous exercise with chips, when we are grouping two negative groups of two negative numbers, we're going to end up with a greater negative number by absolute value, of course. Positive 5 is more than negative 1. We will end up with a positive. Negative 7 and 10. Well, negative 7 definitely is a little bit less by absolute value than 10. So the, then positive 10, the answer will be positive. 4 plus or and negative 13. Well, the group of those negatives is much greater, so we will have a negative sum. Negative 14 plus 15, they're almost the same. Remember, negative 14 plus negative four, uh, plus positive 14. So sorry. <laughs> plus positive 14 is like getting adding negations, right? So negative 14 plus positive 14 gives us 0, but we have 15, so it will give us an extra positive. And Negative 6 and negative 10, we're combining two negative groups of negatives, and it's going to give us a negative sum. I hope this helps and this makes sense.